Hello again, in this video I'm going to be going over the black box penetration test number one on INE and it says in this lab environment the user is going to get access to a Kali GUI instance a web server can be accessed using the tools installed on Kali on the mod at INE.local however there is another machine in the setup which is not accessible from the Kali machine but is accessible from the web server compromise both machines and to retrieve the flags okay so let's get going so ping demo dot ini dot local okay that's good let's take some notes demo equals this let's take our ip address That's good. Okay, so we have port 80 and port 3306, MySQL. So if you go to port 80, this is what you get. Uh, duplicate. Let's go to this to see what's going on. Okay, so there's nothing here. It's just a blank page. Okay, fix admin. Login does not work. So this is some SQL syntax. And login just brings it back to the initial page. Okay. Let's uh, search exploit that version. Okay, so we have arbitrary PHP file upload execution and it's a Metasploit module. Okay, so let's launch Metasploit MSF console. Thank you. Search for VCMS. Excellent. So let's use one. Let's use this exploit. Uh, options. Get set our hosts to this. The remote port is 80, SSL is false. Is it? Yeah. And the target. Okay, set target URI to nothing. Options. Okay, so we did not want it to be in this place because. I don't think there's anything there and the initial page gives us the VCMS configuration. Yeah. Okay. Mm, local host. Let's do this. Okay, that's good. Uh, check appears to be vulnerable. So let's run it. Metropolitan session one opened. So it did upload the payload and it executed the payload. And we got a hope oh, we did get a metropolitan session, but it seems to be stuck. Uh, shell, let's see. Try to get a shell. Python. We do have Python, so we can use Python to stabilize our shell. So 
So we're gonna import the PGY module, PGY dot spawn to spawn a bash shell. tab completion and stuff like uh, erasing um, what let's see ls index.php let's see the true root directory as let's go to the root as and there's the first flag okay so it did say that there is another machine in the setup which is not accessible from our machine but it is accessible from this web server that we just compromised so let's do if config okay so it does have another network interface this is the IP address of the website and it's uh, at zero and the other machine this is the IP address not the IP address of the other machine, but let's take this IP. And add it here. Get one. Okay, so exit. exit. Let's background this session. BG or background both of them work and we're gonna need to uh, route we're gonna need to pivot to the other network so run auto route tag s the netmask was 255.255.255.0 the help um, oh. I think it was tag s to this network and tag n for the net network mask to five five to five five to Two five five dot zero. I don't think I should be doing this here, by the way. Really familiar with uh, Metasploit that much, honestly. Um, sessions, I think it did close. Yeah. I need to do it from the interpreter session. This was my mistake, I think. Not sure. Okay, let's try it from here. Take it. Yes. So, tag S, the IP address, the IP range. And for the network mask, route, route, free, and 
Use the orange. Ground round. Okay, that's the correct IP range, is it? No, it's not. Okay. So how do we delete this route? Delete the... Okay, so... Um, session and now let's add the correct route. Okay, so now we did add the <coughs> the correct route. So let's search for port scan TCP port scan. Um, options ports and remote hosts threats and timeout. So let's set the remote Hosts. No. From um, three to ten, you can say we're just going to be scanning this range of uh, IP addresses, and let's set the ports to. The most common ones, let's say 80, 80, 80, 21, 22. Um, I think we can write. And we do get two ports that are open, which is good. So we're just gonna keep on going. Let's just stop it here and uh, add a uh, let's forward our port to a local port so that we can uh, be able to access it. So session tag i one, and we need to access. Let's say for twenty one. Let's start with twenty one. I think it was port forward add package. Okay, so. Local port, let's pick 1337 to be lead <laughs> and um, the remote port to connect to TAC P21. Remote host is this. I think that's it. Local TCP relay connected. Um, did not mean to do that. Mm, actions. Nmap. Now we did forward our local port to this remote port on this host. So now we should be able to communicate with this uh, network. Let's try port 1337 uh, tag SV to know what services are running on local host, which is our machine. OK, 
okay. So it says VS FTPD 2.0. Okay, that's good. So it means that the port forward didn't work correctly. Um, let's see if this uh, is vulnerable to anything. VS FTPD. Let's keep it like this. So 2.0.8. We see that we do have a backdoor command execution metasploit. And let's background this session and let's search for VSFGP command backdoor. Okay, let's use this exploit. So use zero options. So the port is correct. Let's set our host to um, work. This does check. It does not support check. So run. But no session was created. Let's check the sessions. Okay, let's run it again. Found shell, so in the second time it did work. And it says found shell, and we are root already. Which we love to see. Uh, am I? Root, okay, ls. cd into root, ls. Cat flag. Txt. Okay, there you go. It was a lot of Metasploit, but I mean, I think it is good to practice with Metasploit as well because it is a very powerful tool and we did get to use the port forwarding and auto routing to pivot from network to network, which I think is, is cool. I hope you did get something out of this and yeah, thank you for watching.